Free Comic Book Day is going to be the biggest event of the year. It's a huge event that we put on. Uh, we get hundreds of people coming up to the shop. We're giving away stuff for free. We have everything in the store on sale. And there's just so much happening. It's amazing. Well, it's essentially our Christmas. I guess you could call it Christmas. I mean, Santas and elves filling all sorts of fun little packages, filled all sorts of great toys and free comics. Free Comic Book Day is an event that the nation, or every comic store in the nation celebrates in some way. Uh, some stores do as little as ordering the books and not doing much more and giving them out for free. And other stores like us go above and beyond and do a little bit more. We had a line form at about 10 o'clock at night last night, 10.30 at night. We put cones out. By the time I got here at 5 in the morning, there were about 50 people in line. We gave out 100, or 50 bags with $100 worth of merchandise that was all new in, in bags. Uh, we've been wait I've been waiting since 2.30 a.m. I've been here for about, well, about six hours. I've been here since 9 last night. It's been pretty long. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Number one in 50 through 50 will have themselves $150. <sighs> <sighs> So, the winning number is 51. number 14. Woohoo! Well, oh, we That's right. a free hug from Dave. Yay! 55, are you guys ready for free comic book day? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> ready? No. Maybe. Here we go. Yeah. Remember, this is my buddy Chris over here. Take your pin count back at you. We got here at like 20 after 8. Really, and not being cheesy, the kids are my favorite part of seeing little kids and, and uh and women and families enjoying comic books and comic book related stuff because a lot of times there's a stigma that only males of a certain age are into comic books or frequent comic book stores, but here we, we get everybody, you know, a range of people. Um, of course, you know, it's nice when people come out and bring their kids. I love all the children interactions and things like that and everybody's really happy and I, and I, and I like that it's getting, it's getting back to the kids again. You know, we're having it where we're, we're getting young fans again, and I mean, I think that's important to groom new readers. I don't know, it's, it's, it's a way to connect with my kids, because I got two girls and I'm not really into princesses and fairies and stuff, so um, it's a good way that uh, we can spend a little time together. Uh, well, we wanted to come get in line early uh, to uh, support Free Comic Book Day at Collector's Corner, uh, so that uh, the boy here can get introduced to the same stuff that we saw when we were kids. Uh, whatever catches his interest. I mean, as a, as a boost to his reading skills, he's just getting out of the first grade now. So anything that holds his interest and puts the printed word in front of him is good for us. He's really big into the superheroes. Uh, we like co comic books. <laughs> we do, and we really love this store. It's just fun. How about the characters out front? Oh, yes, they're really great. Which was your favorite? Spider-Man. I love the fans. The fan base is just always amazing. When, um... When kids will come up and just give me a hug and we cars just roll by and start waving, it's just great. I'm a nerd, and this is like a comic book store, so like my sanctuary. Uh, well, you come out, you get 50 free comics, you really can't beat that. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun, I mean, everybody's dressed up, it's free food, it's awesome. Free comic book is really cool because it kind of gets a little bit of comic book awareness. Like, the Marvel movies are doing a good job, but... It lets all the fans uh, get a feel for a little bit of everything. We haven't even gotten to see the comics yet, so that's what I'm excited for. But uh, seeing all the people is in costumes is fun, and Iron Man's looking pretty ballin'. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, I think our uh, our big mood booster is the uh, the costume, costume contest. contest. Right, bud? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Raymond Stance, uh, it's our secretary, Janine Melnitz. Uh, we're New York's finest paranormal investigators and eliminators. Yes, hello everyone. Imposter! I am everyone Kenobi. <laughs> Tell us about you love Anakin. I love him with all my heart, but he betrayed me. He went to the Sith, and that was it was just the worst day. So now I've resorted to going to functions like this to say hello and avoid people from going to the Sith. So hello, come join the Jedi Order. Yeah, but the next, I have French. I am a member of the X Force. Along with that, 
Hey, it's a little lack of a best word. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm training a little spider boy here because Peter Parker's out of town. Thanks. <laughs> Give us about 45 seconds, we'll come back with a first, second, and third place winner. First place gets $100 gift cards to the store. First place. Second place is Sane Man and Hydra Man. And we have a tie for three is Raven and the Dark Phoenix. What's your name? Uh, my name is Iggy. And uh, who are you dressed up as today? I'm dressed as Phantom X from the X Force series. And did you make that costume yourself? Yes, this is completely handmade. It's just a lot of fun seeing everyone put, put on the costumes and be a character for a day. Collectors Corner does great business uh, at the cons. They do great work for the community. And I figured to come out and support them today. Uh, we are a small batch coffee roaster located in uh, Northeast Baltimore. My name is Alan Harris. I'm with Wicked Wood Art. The technical term for it is pyrographic artwork. Uh, translates into drawing with fire. Basically, it's a heat tool, kind of like a soldering iron used to burn images into wood. Uh, we're with DangerPug.com. It's a project we just started. Uh, it's a children's comic, ages about five to ten years old, and it's a story about a runt pug puppy with an overactive imagination. Uh, Collector's Corner is local. Uh, it's comfortable. They've always been super supportive for everything we've done, so this is home for us. My name is Michael Bracco. I've been doing Free Comic Book Day at Collector's Corner for, I think this is my sixth year. I have two books. I've got Adam Reck, which is my all-ages sci-fi book, and then I have the Birth and the Novo series. My name is Burr Curtis. I do basically everything from jewelry to steampunk bugs, um, ink artwork, oil painting and airbrushing, and I've been coming here for like the last four or five years for Free Comic Book Day. Hey, my name is John French. I'm a short story writer. I write in a variety of genres, uh, crime fiction, supernatural investigation, and horror fiction. Collector's Corner is my comic book store. I've been coming uh, to buy my comics from Brandy for about the last three years now. Um, I'm Monica Gallagher. I um, run the website eatyourlipstick.com, and I do comic books. My name is Keith Davidson, and I work as the uh, Director of Sales and Marketing for Avatar Press and Boundless Comics. Uh, my name is Mark uh, Redfield. Uh, I'm an actor and a filmmaker. Today happens to be free comic book. So the crowds are great. And uh, so where, where else would you want to be but here? Collector's Corner is the best comic book store in Maryland. Uh, I've been to several and nothing compares to this place. I mean, look at the outcome. Look at all these people here, because it's the best place around. Just seeing everybody coming out to celebrate comics and buy comics and talk about comics and stuff, it's good. It's a good atmosphere. <laughs> my, my favorite thing, I just like to see everyone... Like, I like to see cosplay, but I mean, I, I just like to see everyone together under a common interest. Just like hanging out, it's cool stuff. Randy's store is well known throughout the state and he has a lot of great selections. I come down here for the bargain stuff. My goal was always to have a shop that had kind of everything for everybody. Comic book related, mainly gaming, pop culture, but I'm always thinking of new ways to bring more people into my shop, you know. And I feel like every comic book store is different because every owner is different. Everybody has different taste and what they want to do and what they want to do as far as a, sh a shop and how they run it. But for me, it's, it's, uh, it's about pleasing my customers, you know what I mean? I'd like to hope that we're really, you know, friendly, open, accepting, and we try to give it a, a, a good family environment and also like a place where you can hang out and kind of like joke with your buddies. And there's so many people that are kind of hesitant and how you know, our society portrays comic books and this whole medium to begin with. So I think we welcome that and we want everybody to like this kind of stuff. And we, we're ready to help them, you know, wade them into the waters and have a good time. Go swimming. Go swimming in imagination. <laughs>